We're gonna race. A bottle of that? <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth! <laughs> I can't breathe. I'm Amy. And I'm Tammy. And we're the Slade Sisters. You're supposed to do it with me. Shout out. It's always been me and Tammy, me and Tammy, me and Tammy. We always knew that we only have each other. We grew up very poor. We grew up with fast food mostly, but like if we didn't have fast food, the church would give us food. There was five kids, so our mom worked three jobs. We didn't really get much love and affection growing up. It was actually quite the opposite. We got told we were stupid, we were lazy. Ugly, fat. Who all was saying this to you? Our, our mother, mother, our sisters, brothers. Our grandma, on the other hand, she was basically our mom. My grandma was so important to me. She made me feel like I was no different from anybody else. Squish. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> My husband, Michael, he means the world to me. And Michael's really supportive of me helping Tammy. Which one do you think is going to taste the best? The ones I cooked. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep. Don't do me like that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Every day I look at Tammy and I'm like, if I don't change now, I could possibly be her size. Maybe by this time next year. I've been overweight all my life. Kids in school are very mean. They would push me, call me names. By 20 years old, I weighed about 500 pounds. It's comforting to eat because I know food is not going to, I was going to say harm me, but it is. I have no idea how much I weigh right now. The size I am now, I need help to do pretty much everything. Cooking, cleaning, bathing. I can't stand in a shower, so I have to sit on the commode. Amy has to help me wash off. Amy! I feel like I'm a burden to her. Can we go something here, please? I haven't been out of the house in about six years, except to go to the hospital. I'm afraid I might fall or have a heart attack. I do dream of getting back my independence. I have to do something drastic, because if I don't, then I'm not going to be around much longer. I can just feel my body giving up. Girl, I'm about tired of being fat. We need to come up with some way to lose all this weight. Almost got choked. <laughs> We've been on countless diets before. We tried walking. We tried pills. We've tried sex. <laughs> the only thing we haven't tried was surgery. What are we going to do, girl? See a specialist? Me and Tammy made a decision. And it's a pretty big one. We've been contemplating this for a while. Me and her decided that we're gonna go ahead and get gastric bypass surgery. I'm hoping if I lose this weight, my dreams will come true and I'll have a baby. At least one. <laughs> okay, one more. You really think you should have that? I'll start the diet tomorrow. It's really good possible if she don't get the surgery that she won't make it a year. What do you got? Man, I 
do some damage on Amazon. Tammy never goes out. So I thought I'd get her some equipment to work out at home. The main reason is to get healthy, of course, and hopefully she'll get off that walker one day. I got you a shake Cool. How do I open? <laughs> and then I got you the thigh master. That ain't going between my thighs. Yeah, it is. It's going <laughs> <laughs> Or you can do your arm. <laughs> you chicken wing. <laughs> you work out that chicken wing. <laughs> and then I got you this pogo stick. Pogo oh, stick. Wait, the pogo's broken. <laughs> There's no pogo in that. It went go go. <laughs> it broke broke. <laughs> oh. Come on, chop chop. Man, that arm's gonna be really cold. <laughs> You gotta shake it, dude. You shake it like you know it. I don't know it. It works. Wait. It works. <laughs> Ain't that how you work? Yes, but it looks nasty. <laughs> Here. Hold it like you know I it. Hold it firm. You had it. You got it firm. You got it dirty by you now. You're gonna make me pee. <laughs> Don't pee on my couch! The shake weight was very interesting. <laughs> Did you see that sweet girl? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty bitch. <laughs> Stop. So with the thigh cruncher, you put it right here and you go rah, rah, rah. <laughs> I'm grab a little. Ow, I'm shorter. <laughs> you hit me with the thing. <laughs> Oh, you go like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you <drive>? Quit. <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on. Come on, little. Come on. Today, we're having lunch with our mom to tell her that we're having weight loss surgery. I know this is a big deal for Tammy because she hasn't been out of the house in six years. For six years, I've only left the house for medical reasons. My biggest worry is that I might possibly like, have a heart attack. Moving around more is a lot of stress on my heart. I'm raising the seat up. Does it fold in? That's what I'm trying to figure out. In order to get her out of the house, we're gonna have to set her in the floor of the minivan because she can't fit into a regular seat. Lay this down. Oh. It can be dangerous having Tammy on the floor and all because we haven't figured out the seat belt situation. But this is better than nothing. When was the last time you went in an actual car? Seven or eight years ago. Are you scared? Yeah, because I don't know how much pain I'm going to be in. I don't know if there's a possibility I could fall or hurt myself or whatever. The world is passing you by. We need to go and right. join it. I'm ready. Let's do it. You stay here. This is kind of a test to see if we can get Tammy out of the house, get her moving, get her back to the house safely without any incidents. You did really good, Tammy. I'm proud of you. Yeah, the hard part's over with. You just have to get in the van now. Okay. <sighs> I 
awesome. You're almost in. Good job. I haven't eaten in a restaurant in six or seven years. But we're gonna with our mom today because I want to prove to her that things are about to change. And this was the first step. first thing that I noticed when I walked into the restaurant were people who were starting to look at me. It feels like their eyes are searing into your soul and judging you and just wondering why you're so big or why you're there. Maybe even how much you're gonna eat. I know when we came in, Tammy was having a hard time, but it would have been nice for our mom to say, are you okay? Do you need anything? But really, she was just sitting there being nonchalant about the whole ordeal. Growing up, we didn't get very much attention, didn't get very many hugs. I'm not saying our mom didn't care. I'm just saying she didn't know how to show it. I'm thinking that her family didn't know how to show it. You know, it's been six years since you've been out of the house. How's it feel being out? Really different because I'm not used to, I guess, the exercise, walking, and everything, being out of breath. Because, you know, right there at the house, it's just like two or three feet, and nobody's there really to judge me. Out of the house, it's like everybody's looking at you, judging you, just afraid somebody's going to start staring at me and start laughing. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm ready to change. We're doing the bariatric surgery. I don't think you make it. I think you'll chicken out. I got to do something. Like, every diet I've been on ain't working. It's because you ain't got the willpower. You got to have the willpower to go before it. But like, I have motivation right now. If I don't make a change, I'm not going to be around that much longer. Uh, yeah, because it runs in your family. You've got a cousin that died with a massive heart attack at 33. My family has a lot of medical problems, blood clots, high blood pressure, fat. I need to take care of my own health before I end up like them. And I know this is, like, the last chance I'll have. If I don't do it now, then I'm never going to do it. Yeah. Tammy gives up a lot. If she sees that she doesn't think she's going to make it, then she just gives up. She don't take that after me. I'm a fighter. I've raised five kids. So that's kind of her fault. It's going to be hard. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say it's not going to be hard. There are days that you want to get a snack and quit, and you can't. But you can't. Whatever I got to do to get rid of the weight. They've always told me they wanted to lose weight, but I've heard it so much that I guess I'm like, you got to show me you're going to do it. The jalapeno burger dressed with breaded mushrooms, double cheeseburger plain with corn nuggets. Hearing my mom say that she didn't think we could go through with the surgery, it's kind of heartbreaking knowing that she's not on our side, but that makes me want to push harder to lose weight. Is this healthy? No, but the show is good. Since we decided to have the surgery, we're gonna have to eat better and quit eating a lot. We gotta learn some good recipes. Bye bye, Sloppy Joe. I didn't know Joe was sloppy. <laughs> well. Every time.
because I'm not white. I don't have cartilage in between my bones and my knee. They pop out of place and they grind when I'm walking. You need more milk. That's osteoporosis, Dina. Oh. I'm nervous about this eight-hour trip because me and Tammy tend to fight when we get in closed locations. I'm hoping everybody makes it to Atlanta alive, but I can't make no promises. You think you can make it to Atlanta? I'm gonna try. On our way there, you'll have time to stop in between stops. Like, you can sit down and take a break. Are you crazy? I'll be sitting the whole time. But I'm sure you have to stop and use the bathroom. No, I'm on garden floor. Oh. <laughs> that would surprise me. <laughs> How often do I do that? I thought about getting diapers for Tammy. I'm not really sure if they make any big enough. I'm not sure if they make anything big enough for me. <laughs> or Michael. <laughs> Tonight, we decided to eat some country buffet. We're gonna have one last supper. I knew it were you. <laughs> you can take you anywhere. We gonna start packing for Atlanta. I'm excited. It's like our second honeymoon. We getting our own hotel room. I don't wanna hear the gorillas. I want to be three doors down. <laughs> you might still hear it. Oh, great. <laughs> twerk, 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 twerk. You twerk. <laughs> I only do that when I play my little dinosaur. <laughs> do the cappy patch. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Last time I weighed myself, it was at home on a scale, and it said I was 350. But I think my scale at home was broken. And I've been afraid to buy a new one. This is the moment I've been dreading. Four oh six. Seeing that number on the scale just made my heart drop. This is the most I've ever weighed. In my head, I see more zeros than it really, really was. Makes me feel like, I don't know, just kind of like. I know your frustration. I'm going to put on weight too, dude. You know what I've been eating? The mozzarella sticks are hanging out. <laughs> feel that belly of steel. That's your keg. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a barrel. Six oh five. The size of the animal right now didn't happen overnight. It's my fault that I'm this size. This was a fart. Amy Elizabeth! <laughs> What's it mean? Lena! That was wet. <laughs> 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 Generally speaking, the work that I do is connecting people to younger aspects of themselves. What would you like to accomplish today? To not eat as much. To not eat as much? Meet Becky, and she immediately started playing with this glass bowl, made a bowl scene. Kind of cool. I'm wondering um, when the pattern of overeating began. How long have you been overeating? All my life. All your life, yeah. You're getting sleepy. <laughs> I want you to close your eyes.
close your eyes for me, Tammy, and take a nice deep breath. You're doing a really good job. I didn't fall completely asleep. I don't think. I hope she didn't make me cluck like a chicken. So I see you're both sipping on something. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Dad soda. About how many soft drinks are you guys drinking in a day? I can't kill. <laughs> it's a lot. What would you say is a lot? You're uh, six cans a day? More than that, probably six Ten cans. to twelve, you drink a yeah. lot. Uh, okay. At least I'm honest. No, no, I want you to be honest, but those diet sodas are going to make you gain weight. See, we were told the opposite growing up. We were told if you eat some sweet and drink a diet soda, it'll equal it out. Well, that really hasn't worked out, has it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> we were told the diet soda will cancel out the sugar. That's some <laughs> That lied to us. <laughs> right now, surgery is the only option for both of us. We will make it. <laughs> Sounds good, ladies. I look forward to seeing you down here. Road trip, Slayton style. Come on. <laughs> Me and my sister Tammy, we are going to Atlanta for a couple of days. I'm nervous about this eight hour trip because me and Tammy tend to fight when we get in closed locations. On our way there, you'll have time to stop in between stops. Like you can sit down and take a break. Are you crazy? I'll be sitting the whole time. But I'm sure you have to stop and use the bathroom. No, I'm on going to Florida. Uh, <laughs> that would surprise me. <laughs> Shut up. How often do I do that? I thought about getting diapers for Tammy. I'm not really sure if they make any big enough. I'm not sure if they make anything big enough for me. <laughs> or Michael. <laughs> Are you excited to go? A blast. I know we haven't been out of Kentucky. <laughs> me and Tammy run a YouTube channel together. We do challenges or games. Makeup, some cooking. You can see it jiggly, so it's perfectly cooked. So we're making a YouTube video because we want to do a meet and greet. I'm hoping at least 100 to 200 show up. But I know a lot of my fans live overseas, and I'm okay if they don't show up. Hey y'all, it's Amy and Tammy, and tomorrow we are going to Georgia. So we're packing up, getting things ready to leave. This weekend, we're going to be doing a meet and greet. We'll be signing autographs, giving out hugs, signing anything y'all want, like a book bag or something. Mike will even be there. Yeah, Mike will be there. If you ever wanted to meet those Slayton sisters, now's your chance. Slayton sisters are hitting, hitting the road. road. I'm hoping that a lot of people show up because we're going to need that support on this weight loss journey. Bye, YouTube. Subscribe. Before you go, keep it kiss. Bye, I love you. Dude, you got those headshots? Yeah. Okay. Today's the day of the meet and greet with all our subscribers on social media. It was so sad. <laughs> you gotta hit me. <laughs> it's a party up in here. There's gonna be lines around the block. We set up the meeting at three o'clock, but no one's here yet. What if this is it? Like, nobody showed up. Is there a line out there? I'm hoping a lot of people show up to the meet and greet. We need their support. Because I don't have any friends in real life. Just in a while. Uh, I don't think anybody's coming.
fun I made you good presents. Aww. Tammy, I made you a sock monkey picture. <laughs> and then Michael, when you feel left out, so I made you guys this together. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. I feel so relieved to actually see somebody that cared about us enough to come. Have you guys liked your stay in Georgia? Pretty good so Y'all don't drive, y'all drive crazy around here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing on my way over here. I was like, maybe I'll just move to Kentucky with them. <laughs> Uh, we've been fans of the Slayton Sisters for probably about a year and a half now. OMG, this is like a dream come true. <laughs> Thank you. I like how funny they are. Like they're very, I like their sense of humor. Bottom of the... <laughs> you missed. Oh, Thank you guys so much. Thank you for coming. Meeting them in person was more than we expected it to be. We were so excited to meet them, so we're going away happy campers. Meeting a fan in person is like meeting a friend that you never knew you had. I like your makeup tutorial videos, so I don't know how to do makeup, so. <laughs> I don't either. Today I did this makeup look inspired by these beautiful nails. It's very weird meeting people that know you from online. It's weird because they know so much about you, but you don't know anything about them. <laughs> Man, we met this one super fan. Her name was Kathy, and she was awesome. She was like family from another family. I love your cooking videos. Love, love, love them. The Chubby Bunny Challenge, that one had me rolling. Chubby Bunny. I believe it's been a bit over four years that I've been watching them. And when I watched the first video, I was hooked and I've been here ever since. Well, what's your son's name? Fuller. Nice to meet you. Have you seen our videos before? Uh, no, I, well, no, I have seen it. My mom showed me. I haven't, um, I'm, I'm really more- He was like, this too girly for me. <laughs> he, seriously, it's Mother's Day. And I told my family, this is what I wanted to do for Mother's Day. And anyone who wanted to come with me was welcome to come, but this is where I was gonna be. Thank you so much. Yeah. We're like the rocket. That's right. <laughs> as much as I love the Slayton sisters, I do worry about their weight constantly. I'm so afraid that something's gonna happen to one of them. I really hope that they can find help and get their weight under control. When you guys announced you were coming here, I couldn't contain myself. I have been so excited for days. Feeling the love from one fan like that made us all worthwhile. I know, right? Oh my Love it. Bye. Bye. Coming from a home that don't really show emotion, to hear, oh, we love you, we're your number one fan. That's just really encouraging to us. Tomorrow, we going to meet Dr. Proctor. I dream of having a normal life and getting back my independence. But I'm scared that Dr. Proctor might say I'm too big and then just walk away. Now I've done all this for nothing. All right, we gotta go. Okay. Bye. I don't like to leave Tammy for a long period of time by herself because I feel if I'm not there, she could fall. And nobody's there to call the ambulance. So we decided to put a baby monitor in there so I can make sure she's okay and have peace of mind myself. I think Tammy thinks it's a little creepy for me to watch her over the baby monitor, but honestly, I know she's safe. She all right? Yeah, she's asleep. Right now we're going to meet with Dr. Proctor for the first time. And Lordy, I'm nervous. Being here, it's just surreal. Like, it means it's actually happening. We're actually doing this. I'm so nervous. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how, how are you? Are you? Good. you guys ready to come back? Yes, ma'am. All right. 
You notice we do that a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> we always fend each other's sandwiches. Our sandwiches. <laughs> sentences. Sentences. <laughs> prepared to hear all the negative things that Dr. Proctor might say. But if Dr. Proctor turns me down, I don't know what I'm going to do next. All right, ladies, ready to weigh. Who wants to go first? Let me to go for She's off for your choice. OK. <laughs> when I was at the junkyard, the scale said I weighed 406. I'm hoping this time I weigh less. All right, that's 400.2. I've always been the skinny sister, so seeing that 400 pounds, I don't know what went wrong. All right. Last time I weighed myself on the junkyard scale, I weighed 605. But honestly, I don't think that scale was right. Six hundred and eight point two. I guess the junkyard scale was right. Plus, I gained three pounds. Hello. Hey. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Tammy and Amy, right? Yes, yes sir. Hey, I'm Dr. Proctor. Nice you get it nice right on the first you. half. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Proctor walked in, and my first impression of him was he had cold hands. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your life nowadays. Do you guys work? I mean, yeah. social media. Yeah, social media. Influencers. Okay. So you do a lot of social media stuff. So you're, you're at home a lot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you get out of the house much? <laughs> no. I have no cartilage in my right knee. It feels like bones are grinding. Okay. What kind of other medical issues do you have? I have a back gallbladder, high blood pressure, thyroid problems, gout. Okay. Whole bucket list. <laughs> Amy, what about you? What kind of medical issues do you have? I got asthma, I got uh, thyroid, I got diabetes. I want to have a baby, and I think my weight is affecting me not to have a baby. So that's your motivation, is you yeah. want to have a baby? You want to I not just want to be healthy, not like her. <laughs> Tell you the truth. I ain't going to lie to you. It's What's like, wrong with me? Look at your weight. fatness. You ain't a prize. There's a little bit of tension that was raised when the sisters began arguing about which one of them was the most unhealthy, which is kind of an unusual argument to have. The reality is they're both really unhealthy and they both really need to have weight loss surgery. Um, we just listed off a whole list of medical problems, both of you, and most of those medical problems are caused by, by being overweight. And I don't think I have to tell you that if you guys don't lose the weight, and a lot of weight, you're not gonna live very long. Mm. We've got a long way to go with both of you guys. I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to make you guys healthier, but I need some buy-in from you guys. I need to understand that you guys are all in and you're gonna make the same kind of commitment, okay? So I'm gonna see some weight loss from both of you by the time you come back. Amy, I need to see you lose 25 pounds before I can approve your surgery. Tammy, your weight right now is a 608. But I want to see you around 550. All right, that's a tall order. I gave Tammy a much higher weight loss goal because Tammy weighs about twice what Amy does. At her weight, she should be able to drop weight fairly quickly. But if she's not really committed to this lifestyle change, she's going to be a really risky candidate for surgery. So before you go back to Kentucky, I want you to meet with a dietitian. Both of you are going to have to completely change what and how you've been eating. I've been trying to get her to start eating a little something in the morning. Well, I mean, as soon as we get home, we're going to buy groceries. Shut up. That's home. Oh. I mean, since I've been living with you. Going through this with a family member can always be a double-edged sword. I'm a little nervous right now, given their interaction they had in the office today. But my hope is they're going to work things out and they're going to find a way to support each other going forward. You can exercise. The best thing for you guys, if you have access to a pool, is to go swimming. 
because that's gonna get that extra weight off your knees and your hips and your back and so forth. That's probably the best thing for you. I want you back here in a month to check on your progress. We're ready to lose this weight. I know we joke around too much, but we're really serious. Yeah. I want you to know that. All right, bye guys. Bye. 60 pounds is a lot of weight to lose. But at least he didn't slam the door in my face and turn me away. Dr. Proctor told us that we have to lose some weight before he can approve us. I'm gonna do everything in my power to do what he suggests. I'm worried if I don't get the surgery, there's a good possibility I'll never become a mother. All my life I've been bullied. Well, she has too. I got sick this a couple of days ago. At first, yes, I cried and was like, sad and depressed about it. But now I'm like, I'm gonna continue working harder to lose weight and continue getting better. What would you like to say to the haters? I'm gonna take this fabric here and put it up here somehow for like a backdrop. We don't really have any friends. So about six years ago, we decided to start making YouTube videos just to meet new people. Oh, now we're live. Hi, gal. <laughs> All this ugly will be gone away. <laughs> I'm just telling Jews. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Today, we are going to tell the fans that we're going to have weight loss surgery. Hey, y'all. It's Amy. And Tammy. Today, we're just going to let y'all know something that we have been discussing highly. So we decided to have weight loss surgery because I've been ill and I'm sick of being sick. And I'm just sick of being fat, and I don't want to end up like her. I don't want to end up like you. Honest, I'm skinnier than you. That don't mean nothing. We may lose subscribers because but I think there are a few that likes us to eat fattening food. But most of them are supporters. So hopefully they can help encourage us. Since we have each other, I think we're gonna succeed. We're ready. It only took 31 years, but we're ready. 32, three for you. I want some ham. Can you give me some ham? And pasta. What kind of pasta? The penne noodle pasta or the little tortilla pasta? Both. When I'm out in public, I feel so insecure. I feel like everybody's watching me, everybody's judging me, pointing at me, laughing at me. It made me feel like I'm a freak show. I feel like everybody's watching me. I'm not comfortable at all. Me too. There's like a lot of people here. I mean, you really don't understand how I feel because you're not my size. And you've never been my size. Being my size, you still get looked at, too. Not as much as you are as me. Yeah, but you act like sometimes that I don't know what you're going through. But you got it, because you're not me. You don't <laughs> but I'm it. having the same problem. Not really. Amy just don't understand that I would love to be her size. Seriously, she has no idea. All right, ladies, ready to weigh. Who wants to go first? Let me go for her. She's off for? Your choice. OK. <laughs> when I was at the junkyard, the scale said I weighed 406. I'm hoping this time I weigh less. All right, that's 400.2. I've always been the skinny sister, so seeing that 400 pounds, I don't know what went wrong. All right. Last time I weighed myself on the junkyard scale, I weighed 605. But honestly, I don't think that scale was right.
608.2. I guess the junkyard scale was right. Plus, I gained three pounds. Hello. Hey. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Tammy and Amy, right? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm Dr. Proctor. Nice you get it nice right on the first you. half. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Proctor walked in, and my first person of him was he had cold hands. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your life nowadays. Do you guys work? I mean, yeah. social yeah, media. Yeah, social media. Influencers. Okay. So you do a lot of social media stuff. So you're ma you're at home a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you get out of the house much? <laughs> no. I have no cartilage in my right knee. It feels like bones are grinding. Okay. What kind of other medical issues do you have? I have a back gallbladder, high blood pressure, thyroid problems, gout. Okay. A whole bucket list. <laughs> Amy, what about you? What kind of medical issues do you have? Oh yeah, asthma. I got. It. Uh, thyroid, I got diabetes. I want to have a baby, and I think my weight is affecting me not to have a baby. So that's your motivation, is you yeah. want to have a baby? You want to then get I just want to be healthy, not like her. Tell you the truth. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's What's like, wrong with me? Look at your weight. fatness. Generally speaking, the work that I do is connecting people to younger aspects of themselves. What would you like to accomplish today? not eat as much? Meet Becky, and she immediately started playing with this glass bowl, made a bowl scene. Kind of cool. I'm wondering um, when the pattern of overeating began. How long have you been overeating? All my life. All your life, yeah. You're getting sleepy. I didn't fall completely asleep. I don't think. I hope she didn't make me cook like a chicken. And as you imagine walking toward that lighter future self, Tammy, shrinking all the way down to the optimal size and weight for you, Tammy. Three, you're coming back further. And four, coming back further. And five, open your eyes. Welcome back. Ultimately, I don't know if hypnosis will work or not, but I feel like I'm on the right path. You are free, lighter and lighter, brighter and brighter. I wish I had a mirror to hold in front of you so you could look in it, because you do look lighter. You're so much more smiling. <laughs> Because I'm not able to stand very long, Dr. Proctor suggested we go to a pool. I'm excited to get in a pool because it's been 10 years since I've been in an actual pool. Can you guys swim? Are you a good swimmer, Amy? I'm a good sinker. <laughs> oh, they don't open. So we go to the hotel pool and there's stairs. There's no way I can do that. Michael, can you roll me over there? I lose balance when I put weight on my knees, so I don't think I would have made it. We're gonna get in the pool, you're gonna be all right? Yeah. All right. Once again, Amy and Mike are off doing their own thing, and I'm stuck just sitting here. I feel like I'm birthing a baby. Oh my Look at me go. You look like a whale. Call me Shabaloo Baby. <laughs> I'm trying to get out more, trying to be more active. 
there's still gonna be some hiccups in the road, but finally I'm starting to take over my life again. Right? Yeah. But it sucks being stuck. I wish you can join us. It kind of hurt me because I couldn't console her. Like, Tammy thinks I don't understand, but I do. But there was only a couple of steps leading to the pool, and she looked at him and said, I can't do it without even trying. As I kept swimming and stuff, my back stopped hurting as much. By the end of the session, my back was pretty much normal. I know that this was great exercise for me. Hopefully when we get back home, we can find a pool that Tammy can actually swim with us in. This will be really great for both of us to lose weight. Six months from now, I hope that I'm, I make it into a pool. What happens if you don't? There's gonna happen. I will. Over here. Today, Michael's dropping me at the gym on the way to work. And man, is it early. I'm kind of scared because this is the first time in my entire life that I've walked into a gym. Hello. Hi, Amy. I'm Tanner. Amy. It's nice to meet you. I wanted Tammy to go to the gym with me, but she was like, I can't do it. We're gonna start off just a really small warm up. We're gonna get on the bike, okay. get a little cardio in, a All little right. warm up for our legs. I'm gonna help you get on here. It's a little difficult. I'm really, really nervous. I'm mostly worried about my back and feet hurting, but it's time to sweat. Let's go. Pedal fast. Pedal fast. There you go. As hard as you can go. There you go. Try to hit it a little faster, okay? We work with a lot of age ranges, a lot of different physical fitness shapes, but I haven't really worked with people Amy size. Try to speed it up just a little bit. Okay. okay. I feel in the booty. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, great job. Good warm up. Now we're gonna start the workout. I thought that was a workout. <laughs> I gotta sit down a second. Okay, let's sit right here. Can I? Yep. Are you ready? Give me one more minute. Okay. Okay. I'm doing better than I thought I would. Yeah, you're doing great so far. You're doing great. I wasn't able to get to a gym, but some of the things I have been doing right is giving up a lot of foods that I'd rather be eating. And I'm trying to be more active. For me, cleaning the house is exercise because it's me actually moving. Yes, I'm sitting down in a chair, but it's more movement that I've done in a long time. Game. The dancing game. Since Tammy can't get out to go to the gym like I can, I asked Michael to download us the dancing video game. I thought it would be a neat way to move around a little bit more. Come on, Tam Tam. Who? I don't know that person. Shut up and do it. <laughs> Just do it. Do it. Bitch <laughs> it. I will punch you in the buttocks. That might hurt. Yeah. This is worldwide. Exclusive. Here we go. We are going to We are going to And we ain't stopping till the morning light. I can't do this. 
I'm having fun dancing and stuff. And I see Tammy's already sitting down. I feel like I'm trying to help Tammy, but I can't do it for her. That just been. I'm not that coordinated. <laughs> when I watched Amy dance, it blew my mind. Like it, like it. Oh, my butt. It was a nice trip in Atlanta, but I'm glad to be home. On the ride home, we didn't have fast food. So far right now, I'm doing good, and our mission is to lose weight so we can go back to see Dr. Proctor in one month. Let's do this. Dr. Proctor said the weight loss begins in the kitchen. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah. All of our food's going in the trash. What are you doing? I'm throwing stuff away. And why? In your mouth? <laughs> the dietitian wants us to throw out all the junk food and all the stuff we can't eat. Quit drinking sodas, eating cookies. It's like an homage to being healthy. What about Sloppy Joe? It's sweet. I mean, it's 13 grams of sugar. Exactly. But we put it in a turkey burger and like... It's still sweet. All right. <laughs> You're like, dang it. Food is a comfort. It's like your friend. So when you're on a diet, it's like losing your best friend. You mean I'm not your best friend? Not anymore. <laughs> Okay. It's sweet. Well, yeah. Tammy, I seen you take that damn cupcake. Ketchup. More peanut butter. <laughs> Applesauce. Butter. There ain't much in here left. Ugh. What about Big Daddy? That has to go. It's like ground turkey. Oh, shoot. Bye bye, big daddy. Oh, my. Our poor little refrigerator looks bare. <laughs> what about the soda? Honestly, this is Michael's. It's going to be extremely hard not to reach for one. Exactly. You um, won't eat any, or drink anything else. Yes, I do. Quit lying. I'm gonna leave it in here for him. And he needs to start drinking more water too, so maybe he'll drink water here and take these to work. Amy won't get rid of Michael's sodas. That bothers me because I live with them. So that means I'm gonna be around it too. And I know they're not just for Michael. It's just to cover up because she inside wants it too. I need to make a grocery list of all healthy foods. Well, salad, we know that. Yeah, light ranch dressing, ground turkey burger. I'm just worried I'm going to be hungry. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, so I mean, you there are fly. days that you're gonna be hungry. I mean, like, until your body get used to eating it, you're gonna be hungry. You have to promise me that you won't cheat on this diet behind my back. And you can't be telling me to go get you some cake and ice cream all the damn time. Why you gotta cuss? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw my back out. Give me a hernia. Oh, my day! I'm turn, I'm turn. I'm stronger than ever. Fat oh, girl. <laughs> Bye, girl! I did yes. Look at my strong Hercules, 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 Hercules. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> So now that we threw away all our food, all the pressure is on me. 
I have to make all the choices. I have to buy all the food. Tammy can't get out of the house. So I'm worried I'm going to make a couple mistakes. Most likely. Can't have that stuff. I'm not even going to be tempted. I think the sweets are calling my name. be honest, I never bought really healthy food in the past, but this time I'm gonna buy some tomato, onion, avocados, cucumbers, lettuces. I'm gonna hit a lettuce. I think that's cabbage. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> that's lettuce on this diet. You're supposed to drink protein shakes twice a day. And in the past, I never went down the health food aisle. So I thought it would be kind of hard to find protein shakes, but here they are in our grocery store. There you are. Most of the time when I go to the grocery store, I'm kind of embarrassed about what I usually get. Find everything OK? Yes, ma'am. But this time, I think I'm doing right. I hope they look at my cart. Hey y'all, it's Amy. And today we are trying these protein drinks. The doctor said this is a good way to lose weight. A lot of protein. A lot of protein, less carbs. First up is peaches and cream. Tastes like It was a rotten peach. Here's the caramel one. <laughs> Don't have to look so beautiful. It's nasty. We're gonna race. We're gonna you drink that one, I'll drink mine. Alright, ready? <laughs> Bottle of it. So I went to go take a big old drink. And she made me laugh. <laughs> so she loses by default. <laughs> Tammy, you're disqualified. What well, am? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> 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 I think it was. You got it in your eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta drink two of these now day. Now that we're home from Atlanta, I'm more determined to lose weight. Dr. So Proctor suggested Amy and I go swimming. But the pool in Atlanta was a big fat bust. There's no way I can do that. I really have my heart set on swimming. So we called around and we finally found a place we could go and they have a water aerobics class. <laughs> what? You look like a babushka. <laughs> From the neck down, I don't. A lot of people don't know how it feels to have 600 pounds on your body. I'm not able to get out to go do other workouts, so I'm hoping this works out with the pool. That's a big pool. The biggest fear I have going to the pool is walking down the stairs. I'm really scared that I might fall. But I can't let it keep happening to me. One step Come on. Down. Come on. You can do it. How's it feel to be in a pool? Whoa. She did it. Come on. Come on. 
It felt awesome to be able to get in the pool. I sat down and my legs and butt lifted up off the stairs and I about drifted away. It was funny. I'm glad I was holding on to the rails. <laughs> Put the water down and bring the water up. Being in the pool felt like I was like weightless. Apparently fat float. It's because you're full of hot air. Put your feet on the floor. <laughs> Put your feet on the floor. I'm trying. I'm a dolphin. <laughs> no, I'm a sea turtle. <laughs> Pull it out there. I didn't fart. You did. I farted in the water like four times. <laughs> it feels good when you fart in the water in the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> you just sound like way poop. <laughs> thank you. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Grimace. Come on. Why did you call me Grimace? Because you're big and purple. <laughs> It's one of the best days I've had in a long time. Now I'm more motivated to exercise. How does they watch me tell go? talk to you about something. What is it? I made good progress at my last doctor's appointment, and I'm doing good. I'm making good choices. So when me and Tammy go back to Dr. Proctor's, I think I can get approved for surgery. You know, there's so many reasons why I want to lose this weight, but I'm scared of having the surgery and that I might die. Mm -hmm. I've never been put under anesthesia. And I'm so scared that I might die on the operating table. So I was thinking, I kind of want a real wedding. And I want it before my surgery. I mean, I know we're married already, but it was just a courthouse wedding, and not really anybody came. Yeah. I might be having gastric bypass soon. And I want a one big hurrah before I go under the knife. I want a fancy dress and the whole shebang. That's good, honey. I'm excited to have a wedding, but I've been thinking really hard about something that's been weighing on my mind since the beginning of this journey. What if Tammy don't lose enough weight and I do? Am I supposed to go through the surgery or wait for her? I know me and Tammy are supposed to do this thing together, but I'm going to tell you something. If I get approved and Tammy don't, I want to do it, regardless if she gets pissed or not. I'll tell us what you in a way. I'm not getting any younger, you know? No. As the older you get, the harder it is I'm going to be having kids. I know. I mean, Jamie don't know it yet, but when the time's right, I'm going through with it. I'm doing my own thing. She don't have the surgery, that's on her. Go for a walk. You want to go for a walk with Mommy? I think Tammy's kind of upset right now because if I get approved and she doesn't, I'm still having the surgery. But she's got to think, I'm a married woman. I got my own life now. I got to focus on myself. You need a break? 
In the past, I could barely make it down the driveway and back. I find now that I lost weight, it is easier for me to walk. We're going back to Dr. Proctor's in a month, so I got to keep going. I got to lose this weight. I'm going to do everything in my power to get approved for surgery. The other day, Amy told me if she gets approved and I don't, she was going to have surgery without me. It really did hurt my feelings. But we haven't really talked about it anymore because there's really no point. Amy's going to do what she wants to do, so I'm going to keep focusing on myself. Hurry up. You're slower than molasses on Christmas. Well, how's your diet going, girls? Honestly, Mom, it's hard. I ain't going to lie. I snuck a couple snack cakes. You ain't going to make it if you don't leave the snack cakes alone. I know, Mom. My relationship with my mom was always a little rocky. She doesn't think we're going to be successful. But I'm trying to fix things with her and prove that we can do it. And how many do you eat? I don't bring them home for her. <laughs> so that don't. means you and Michael sit and eat a whole box in the car. No, we buy one at the gas station to go about our business. Mm. This is exactly what I was talking about, eating the snack cakes. You can't do that and stay on a diet. I know her. She starts, she don't know when to stop. Yeah. On a serious note, I'm a little worried about you having the surgery, but I just put you all in God's hands and go from there. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared. I mean, I never got put under. I heard stories of people not waking up. What about you, Tammy? Yeah, I'm scared about it a little bit, but I'm just not trying to focus on the negative and keep focused on, on the outcome of it. Speaking of something good to focus on, me and Tammy are planning something real big. Like what? Well, you know how you didn't get to go to my wedding? We're planning on another wedding, like a big one this time. Like get dresses, Michael getting a tux. Me and Michael just got married at the courthouse, and the fact that I didn't have a real wedding kind of bothers me a little bit. If I get approved, there's no telling what will happen during the surgery. So I decided that I'm going to have another wedding. And you think I'm coming in a dress? No, I didn't say oh, okay. you had to. <laughs> I just said you had to be there. My hope is that my mom's actually at my wedding this time. Basically, my whole family was at, not there. Tammy wasn't at my wedding. I thought Tammy was faking being sick, but then we found out she had gout. Why would I lie? So who you gonna get to sew you away? I mean, take you down the aisle. Uh, you? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, you can either get Frank or you can get your brother. That's right, party. Well, who should I have as my ring bear? A little bit. You can put a pillow or... <laughs> Hanging around That's a good idea. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm good for. What you want to wear for a bridesmaid dress? Something black. No. <laughs> you want teal, and you're going to like it. <laughs> I kind of want a tiara. You ain't fancy. Fancier than you. Well, you know, I still got my wedding dress. Oh, God. I don't think I could fit in your wedding dress. <laughs> it's called old and decrepit. It's probably falling apart. Sure. No, it ain't sure. that old. I don't really have any plans to get married right now. I'd rather focus on getting healthy and losing weight, focus on the surgery, and then hopefully down the lines a few years from now I'll be able to get married and whatever. Maybe have a baby one day. Heck no, don't want no dang kids. <laughs> you say that now. I say that ever. It almost flew in my mouth. That's right, party. You said they want to go. You just wanted to see some men. <laughs> at my bachelorette party, we're going to do it right. Or we could go ghost hunting. Oh, yeah. What was this? I done told you we can't go ghost hunting. My big ass ain't running. <laughs> She'll be the first one to die. <laughs> Every man for himself. Bye, Jamie. <laughs> Do you think you could go wedding dress shopping with me? No. Why not? No, you get Bob to go with you, and, and it's a lot easier well, I mean, for you're her. You're my to... mom. I 
I know, but it's a lot easier for them to do it than me. You, you know, I don't like shopping. Chair? I don't like going shopping. My mom refused to go wedding dress shopping, which kind of hurt me because that's something special for a mother and daughter. But me and Michael's mom, she's like my mom too, so she'll go with me. So where are y'all going? It's something we ain't never done before. I basically stick to myself, so I kind of just wanted my bachelorette party to be low-key. Angela is Michael's sister, and she's one of my best friends. Oh, Lord, don't take me no skydiving. Oh, no, no, no. Girl, I'm too fat for that. Fat, this, and gravity don't mix. <laughs> I'm so excited to be at this bachelorette party for Amy. I'm going to be Michael's eyes and ears and won't let this get out of hand. Although it might a little bit. What the heck kind of place is it? The winery. The winery. Wow, that's great vines. I don't think I've ever had wine. Never had wine? Yeah, you did. Homemade wine. Oh, well, that don't count. I'm kind of scared because this is too fancy for me. Do I have to eat with my pinky out? <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. We put some uh, food on the table. For the past two months, I've been eating really good. I've been exercising, and this ain't no time to slack off. But we are gonna let some slide and have a little fun. This is our calamari. Also, you have on the table already some brezala, lomo, dog prosciutto, and gouda. <laughs> Did you understand half the stuff he said? No. Nope. <laughs> let me give you our, a little bit of this Riesling. I'm going to put mine in here. <laughs> I'm at a winery. You know, I brought my coat. I have no clue what was going through the waiter's mind. Probably wouldn't have to leave. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you seriously drinking out of this jar? We have a few wine. So this one is going to be even harder. It's going to be dry wine. It's the old vines in Fendel. There she goes. You don't chug it. <laughs> the first Chirac wine, it was really strong. The second one was nasty. <laughs> it needed lots of sugar. And then the third one, it's just supposed to swirl it. It was good. We're at the bachelorette party. And this ain't all we got. Wait until we go home. What are y'all doing now? Me do something? Never. Always. <laughs> I have a really big surprise coming for Amy. And thankfully, Michael works nights, so we got the house to ourselves. <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen next? We're gonna have cake and ice cream. Cake's tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah. You know that nutritionist said we can't have a piece of cake all the time. We can only have it on special occasions. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's a special cake. I'm eating me a piece of cake. <laughs> Where's the surprise at? It's part of it. What the heck is that? What do I need this for? You'll see. Come in! You don't oh. look like Dr. Proctor. Dr. Vince is here. <laughs> Let's examine table one, two. Oh, God. With the music. <laughs> I told you you didn't order anything off the internet. I don't know what to do. Do you want to die? Thank you, thank you. Here, I'll give you all. That's how big it was. You were looking? Well, he's running for the mermaids. Me too. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Why? He has one move. He's just like. <laughs> Pop your back. <laughs> We're gonna teach this boy how to twerk it. <laughs> for short notice, for Dixon, Kentucky, that's all I could find. Let me see what our cousin. <laughs> That was awkward as hell. Honestly, that poor boy needed to learn some more moves. <laughs>